Aquarius, how's it going? This is your love reading for June 2019. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Since this is a love reading, I do recommend checking your Moon and Venus signs as well as they may resonate better for you than your Sun sign. Um, I know that's the case in my world, but everybody's different, so just a heads up. Obviously, this isn't going to resonate for every Aquarius out there. You're not all living the same life, so if it's not your reading, don't try to force it. Just check out your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers on here. There are a ton. All right, let's go, Aquarius. Your overall energy, you have the Eight of Wands reversed, so not really doing shit, right? <laughs> not taking any action. Um... Maybe you're feeling, you know, lack of motivation, lack of energy, lack of drive, lack of passion. Um, as always, these energies can go both ways, but I always, for me, the overall is generally the person that I'm reading for. So, you might just be feeling like, meh, like you don't really feel like taking any action on anything for whatever reason, you know, it's, it's whatever, it's okay. If you don't feel like it, then don't. Um, your recent past, you have the moon, reverse, Pisces energy. You could have been dealing with a Pisces. If you were, they probably were being kind of shitty because it's reversed, right? Otherwise, <coughs> or even if there was a Pisces, either way, some shit came out. There was some shit that was hidden, um, and it doesn't even have to be something fucking terrible. You know, there's just some shit that you didn't know about the person that you were dealing with. And it came out. You got your clarity. You got what you needed. You found out what you needed to know, you know, good or bad, whatever that is in your world. All right. Let me just show you what I think this means. You have all majors here, by the way. Your present energy, you have the chariot. This is cancer energy. If you're dealing with a cancer, don't have to be. Um... It's movement, and it could literally be moving. Like, you may have moved, okay? So, there's this shit in your past here, right? There was some hidden shit that came out. You got your clarity, and you may have very well said, all right, I'm getting the fuck out. I'm moving. Um, or you're just moving forward with the same person because of, because of clarity, right? I don't know. Okay, so let me just give you an example. <clears throat> So the moon's hidden shit, shit you don't know yet, right? Doesn't always have to be bad. It could be something good. Like maybe you found out that this person felt some way that you didn't know they felt about you. So you're moving forward with that person. Or you found out some shit about the person that you didn't like and you got the fuck out of there. Either way, the chariot's forward movement and it's a push from the universe. The universe is behind you pushing you forward. May have actually pushed you forward to the point where you left somewhere physically. Um, and in your immediate future, you have strength, Leo energy. You could be dealing with a Leo in your future. Don't have to be though, but it's just you, you know, feeling confident, like you're good, you're confident, you got your strength back. Whereas in your overall right now, you're probably not feeling that way. You're probably just feeling like, um... I feel like I just said this, but either way, you probably just feel like you don't want to do shit when it comes to a relationship. Um, you just don't feel like you have that drive right now. You might just be focused on other things, but in the future, the near future, I think that's going to come back for you because you have this like renewed confidence, like self-esteem, like, you know, you're really feeling yourself type of shit. All right. <coughs> we'll clarify though, but your potential obstacle you have the Page of Cups. Um, so if this isn't a, young, a younger water sign for you, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that's for some reason an obstacle in your relationship or your potential relationship, then your obstacle would just simply be that nobody's offering anything. Whether it's you or another person, there's no offers being made. And if there are, you're just kind of like, fuck it. All right? Um what else? I want to clarify. And then I'll get you your advice. Okay. Uh, let's clarify this eight of wands reverse. Why are you feeling like that? Could be lack of sex too, guys. Sorry about it. If that's the case. 
but it might be intentional. Like if you know, if you're just not feeling like yourself, like confident, passionate, whatever, then that would be why. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Oh, okay. So, Hangman, you're kind of just, you're not taking any action, right? Um, because you're just trying to figure shit out, right? You're in the Hangman energy. You're just kind of like observing, trying to look at things from every angle, make sure you're seeing everything clearly. You're not taking any action yet because you're still waiting. You're still observing, right? Which is smart, you know? Whatever, keep doing that shit. I don't ever advise anyone like... Um, running off and doing some crazy shit when they don't have all the facts. Like, I, I, that's just not me. I know, you know, sometimes I wish I could be that way, but I'm not. Um, and it doesn't seem like you are right now either. Like, you want to make sure you know what the fuck's going on before you take any action with any other person. So, all right. Let's clarify the chariot. So, Eight of Swords, your energy as well as Libra and Gemini may mean something, doesn't have to. Um, <coughs> so, obviously, it's a mental prison card, right? It's feeling like you were trapped in a situation and not, like, you're never trapped in a situation unless somebody has you tied the fuck up in your basement or in their basement. And if that were the case, you wouldn't be watching this video. So, if you're feeling trapped in any situation, it's in your head. You can get the fuck out anytime. You have the chariot here. Like, you have the actual fucking universe pushing you out of a certain situation or a certain mindset. Um, so, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling tied to something, it's, it's all in your head. You just have to get out of your fucking head, right? And I don't mean that to be offensive, because, shit, I've been there way too many fucking times, but... Once you realize that it's all in your head and you're in control and you have the power, not only do you have the power to get out of it, you have the universe here being like, all right, here we go. Let's go. We're doing this. Get out of this fucking shit. Get out of this energy, you know? All right. Let's clarify strengths for you in your future. Clarify strengths for Aquarius. Shit, guys. What happened in your world? Seven of Swords. Some shady shit. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry that this is in your future. I don't, I mean, if that's going to be anywhere, I'd like to see it in your past. <laughs> um, I, so I apologize for that, guys. Um, if you happen to deal with a Leo in the future, make sure they're an honest Leo. Make sure they're not being a shady motherfucker. Okay. Um, If that's not it for you, just make sure whoever you're dealing with, everything's out there. Everything's out on the table. There's nothing that anybody's hiding, whether it's you or the other person. <coughs> there's no reason to be shady about anything ever. There really isn't because if somebody's not being their whole self in a love situation, then what the fuck's the point? Who are you even with? Like, if you're not being your whole self, then the person that you're with is not with you they're with some weird version of you or the other way around so make sure you're paying attention to who you're dealing with um whenever this comes up for you in the future and you do have strength so you do have the confidence and you know the strength the ability whatever to see through this shit and handle it um <coughs> just make sure you do okay don't let that shit slide there's no point in it. Um, all right, let's get you some advice, guys. I cannot even tell you how many times this card has come up in readings tonight. Like, I don't know. I feel like everybody must just be stressed the fuck out and just... Um, 
I think everybody just needs to lighten up right now. That's what I've been getting. All right, so your advice. You have the three of swords. So in the advice position, I think there's some shit that you went through that you need to heal from. Uh, before you go embarking on anything else, before you go taking this action, right? And I think that you're doing that. I think that's exactly what you're doing. You just have to keep doing that. Um, make sure that you're healing from whatever, whatever heartbreak, whatever betrayal, whatever somebody did to you, whatever, make sure that you're healing from that before you do anything else with anyone else. And make sure, because you do have the seven of swords in your future, make sure somebody's not currently doing this bullshit to you, okay? Keep your eyes open, all right? All right, and the other one that came out is the six of cups. Oh, guys, this is the one I'm talking about. This keeps coming out tonight. Um, Unless a lot of people are dealing with their exes still, I, I think that this has been coming out because I, it seems like a lot of people, a lot of signs tonight have had like really heavy readings. And this is, for me, this is like a lighter energy. It's like playful. It's like go out and have fun and stop being so serious, you know? Stop stressing so fucking much. Like it doesn't have to be that heavy. It doesn't have to be difficult. And it shouldn't be. If you're in some kind of love situation, it should not be fucking difficult. It really shouldn't. Like obviously everybody has their issues. It's not going to be without issues, without arguing. But for the most part, it literally should not be difficult. It should feel light and fun, right? That's my thinking anyway. <laughs> so, um, all right. I have to say this just because, just because, it, just because it is like a past energy card. If you're still dealing with someone from the past that did this bullshit ass three of swords shit to you, like, whatever, just what, I don't, whatever it is that they did to you. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to say this without sounding like a complete fucking bitch. Um, do not go back to them if they did some shit like this to you. Don't feel like you have to. Don't feel like you have to go fix it. Don't feel like, um, okay, so you might be looking back at the past and being like, oh, you know, that person was really awesome this time or that time, whatever. Don't forget about the shit that they fucking did to you because legit, like, if that's the type of person they are, it's not going to stop. Um, don't get so caught up on remembering, like, all the good stuff that you forget the bad stuff. Do you know what I mean? Um, because it's still there. Like, there's this deception in your future, so... That's kind of worrisome to me with this card here, with that. So make sure that you're paying attention. Make sure that you're not being delusional and thinking that, you know, some somebody's better than they are um, because whatever you were dealing with here, that, that's still that person. F-Y-I. Okay? Um, I guess that's it. I guess we don't really have to clarify anything else. Just keep doing what you're doing. You know, take your time. Observe before you take any action. Make sure that you're completely healed from all this bullshit here. Um, make sure that nobody's trying to do any shady shit to you. And don't ever feel like you are stuck in a situation because you literally never are. Really. Unless you've been kidnapped, you're never stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in. Okay? All right, love you guys.